Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back once again to Mother 3. When we last left off, we made it to this Majipsy's house. Give it some encouraging words. <laughs> smoochy, smoochy. Chamomile tea. <clears throat> okay, so before I move on, I actually do want to buy a few flea powders. This is one of the few times where I think it's actually worthwhile to carry uh, let's see, I want them for Duster. To carry stat healing items. Uh, I'll buy two more. Alright, now, let's see, what does Duster have? He has hot springs, eggs. You've got bombs. So... Sincerity dumplings. Let's give that to Duster, and we'll give Duster one of these bombs, and we'll have Duster give Boney a couple of flea powders. Wait. Alright, let's try that again. Alright. Yes. So, the reason that I spent all that money on those bombs is we have one of the most difficult enemies in bosses, specifically, uh, in the game coming up. Hands down. No contest. Uh, let's see. Let's give this to Kumatora. Well, she's got heal beta. But still, I probably want it on Kumatora. Actually, let's give it to Duster, so that both him and Boney have full inventories. Alright. Alright, Mr. Rock. You can do it. I believe in you. Get the hell out of my way. Aw, good job. Right. Horizont Bolter. Hmm. A Verta Boulder. Alright. I forgot this little puzzle was in the game. Not too difficult, though. Alright, so this is the... The crater area. Get a pencil rocket. I'm gonna give that... Let's see... Let's give these back to Kumatora, and I'll give the pencil rocket to... Duster. All right, so this is a Sky Titney. Uh, sky Titneys you want to hit with ice, I do believe. Yeah, you want to hit them with ice. Uh, not really weak to anything. Um, you know what? Let's. Oh, right. Kumator and Duster are now in different positions in the... 
in the lineup when we had a full party, and it always throws me off. So let's use the Siren Beetle, and... So the Sky Titney has about 486 hit points. And... Let's see. Let's try the Siren Beetle again. Or he dies. One of the two. Right here we have a double jerky. Nice. Let's actually eat one of these hot spring eggs and give that old double jerky to Duster. He's got horns? What? Alright. Pig mass captains. Um... I think... I think ice actually works the best, so let's just go all out. <coughs> yeah, ice really works. So my, the best tactic I could probably do would be to have everybody pile on one while she uh, ices another one. I'm trying to find these guys in my bestiary, but I don't see them. Let's try this again. Let's try this then. Because I want to tell you how much that's the wrong list. Pig Mass Captains have 450 hit points. And they are indeed weak to ice. I think all the Pig Masks are weak to ice. Uh... Yeah, seems to be the case. Ooh, did it say that I was level 35? I think I get a really awesome PSI spell at 35. For 35. Yep, Shield Omni. That's going to be really handy if I can if I learn it before the boss battle. But I do want to get as far forward as possible. So these Sky Titneys. What do I want to do with these these mofos? Hmm. The best way to do this. I think probably just hit them with a Love Beta and then... Because that'll kill this one. And then we can have Duster and Boney go for the other one. Next turn, we can finish off the other one with all of our physical attacks. Well, I thought that would have killed him. It must have been really close. Boney is now level 35. Good job. Good boy. Boney is best boy. Alright, and this is a... I never could tell when the back, where the back of these Mrs. Lavas are. So this is a Mrs. Lava. She has a about a five percent, like a one in twenty chance to drop Meteotite. So she has four hundred and sixty-one hit points. Basically, just regular attack with everybody, and have uh, Kumatora use 
freeze beta, and that's the end of that. That is the end of that equation. This is a couple live noodles. Uh, let's give some of these to Matora. Let's give her one of those and one of the cups of life noodles. I want to avoid these flies if possible. Those flies are really nasty. And these scampering mushrooms are no big deal. We fought them before. Especially if you hit them single, like this, you can just get them with a round of attacks. So now let's do. Let's heal ourselves up real quick. Uh, let's see. Now I'm not worried about using up my PP because there is a room here that has uh, unlimited butterflies in it, basically. guys are weak to fire. Unfortunately, Duster is six levels behind everybody else, which means that his attack power is roughly on par with what Boney has, as you can see. But this should finish these guys off. Just a round of attack should do it. But Duster should catch it back up fairly quickly. Saltwater gun. I'm going to give that to... Um, hmm. Let's give... Let's eat that. And give him the saltwater gun. No more running. Alright, we want to go over here. Rude. But anyway, there's a butterfly over here that respawns basically every time. Uh, so I want to... 20... Let's go ahead and... Life up on everybody. To max our hit points out, and then we will restore our PP. Before we move on. This is a very short dungeon. But there is a boss at the end of it, and I want at least Lucas to have all of his PP. Or as close close to all of his PP. Because... Like I said, this is a very difficult boss. And we're going to use some of it going on our way up there. Uh, one more. Also, I want to learn this spell. Which is Shield Omega. Which is going to be very handy in the upcoming battle. So these magmins are magmins and pyreflies. Uh, pyreflies, you want to be. I think I'm pretty sure the pyreflies explode. Let me double check. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they explode. So, but we want to actually take out the magmin first because the magmin can basically summon more pyreflies. So we're going to concentrate everything on the magmen. See, I can do it. Let me just 
just want to hit him with a freeze and it should be over. Now, the Pyroflies can breathe fire, which will do like 30 points of damage to your entire team, so they don't explode. I, I feel like there's an enemy here that explodes. Maybe they only explode if they're not the last, if you kill them first. I, I just feel like one of them ex there's. I feel like those guys explode. Kumatora, Princess Bear Tiger. Alright. Um. Maybe they can, like, sacrifice themselves and explode. Like I said, I just feel like somebody here explodes. Hmm. Whatever. Not that big a deal. If I'm wrong. <coughs> oh, right. Let's go over here and grab this. Secret herb. If you want Meteotite, you're better, you're probably better off actually fighting, going for a, after the top dogfishes. Uh, what was that noise? Did you hear that fart noise that her attack made? That's, uh, something or other. we walk any further I didn't mean to do that all right 